Starting my five minutes now, uh, I'd like to talk with you about the newly announced independent contractor rule, Administrator Lumen. Uh, by the way, how many pages is that rule? Uh, Congressman Kiley, I am not sure. I think it's like about 330. Is that sound about right? Congressman Kiley, that's very possible. Okay. So under this new independent contractor rule, would licensed real estate agents, would they uh, be classified as uh, employees or independent contractors? So Congressman Kiley, as you know, the independent contractor rule lays out a multi-factor, six-factor Sure, test. and my time is limited, so I'm asking you about a specific example. Just take your typical real estate agent, uh, you know, classic arrangement with a brokerage. Are they an employee or an independent contractor here? So the, uh, Congressman Kiley, the independent contractor rule um, is, helps provide guidance under the Fair Labor Standards Act which requires that uh, employees get minimum wage and overtime. And that okay, you're giving me generalities, don't. and you're avoiding my specific question. Under the rule that you just announced, 330 pages for the 2 million real estate agents in America, is there an answer in there as to whether they're employees or independent contractors? So, uh, Congressman Kiley, as has always been the case under the Fair Labor Standards Act, it is a fact-based analysis as it relates to that individual worker and how they're performing work for their employer. Okay, I'm just talking about the classic arrangement of a real estate agents who's sponsored by a brokerage. Would that classic arrangement, take for example, everyone who's exempted by, uh, by AP5 in California, would those folks qualify as independent contractors or as employees under the rule that you just announced? So. Uh, Congressman Kiley, again, the rule that we just announced is a reflection of longstanding guidance as well as judicial precedent of what it means to well, be. Well, good. Then it should be easy to answer. Contractor. Can you tell me whether real estate agents are employees or independent contractors under your new rule? So, uh, uh, Congressman Kiley, uh, real estate agents who are in business for themselves would continue to be considered independent contractors under the new rule. Okay. How about uh, truckers, independent owner operators? Are they independent contractors or employees under the new rule? So again, Congressman Kiley, the requirement is that workers who are in business for themselves mm -hmm. uh, are independent contractors under the Fair Labor Standards Act, and workers who are economically dependent on their employer are employees. I see. And so get let me give you an example. Let's say that I'm a writer and I publish for Vox and I publish for the San Francisco Chronicle and I publish for a variety of local papers. Am I an employee or an independent contractor under your rule? So again, Congressman Kiley, it would depend on the facts of that individual relationship, and it's a six—it's a six-factor analysis. It has always been a six-factor analysis as it relates to the judicial precedent and the long-standing guidance of the Department okay, so of Labor. Okay, you, so you're the person who came up with the rule. It's 330 pages, and you can't tell me here some basic examples of standard professions that millions of people have, how they qualify. How is anyone supposed to make heads or tails out of this? So, Congressman Kiley, again, thank you for the question, because what we did in the regulation as well as in the small business guide is that we provided examples of how each of the six factors could apply and indicate an independent contractor or an employee for purposes of helping okay, so with the analysis of the Okay, so could you apply those examples to the Act. hypothetical I just gave you? Is that an employee or an independent contractor for a writer like that? So, again, it was, sorry, Congressman Kiley, it would depend on the analysis of the six factors to that individual worker and the work that they're performing. I see. And who's doing that analysis? Congressman Kiley, the, the guidance that we put out in the regulation is to help employers do that analysis. And then we also, as we've discussed earlier today, we're very much looking for misclassification in our cases when it may have deprived a worker of receiving minimum wages. In or fact, overtime. yes, you gave us uh, some examples of the work that your agency has done uh, to address misclassification and the uh, recoveries you've gotten uh, to address misclassification. To be clear, you're doing that under the rule of the prior administration. Is that correct? So, uh, Congressman Kiley, again, we are doing this under the longstanding guidance as well as the information and in in, in compliance with. But no, no, no. All My question is, you've been yeah. you've been touting your success in going after unscrupulous employers who are misclassifying workers. You're doing that without this new rule that you just announced, correct? Uh, Congressman Kiley, we are um, very much. And focused on addressing misclassification, and Could we you just answer my question under the under the standards. You've been able to get judgments and re recoveries for misclassification without this new rule, correct? So, Congressman Kiley, we continue to look at misclassification, and this rule is to continue. The answer to is help. yes. So, the reason you're stating for having this rule apparently is not needed. The rule isn't needed because you're already able to pursue these cases. Are you aware of the opposition that uh, the freelance community has to this rule in the form of a lawsuit and, uh, and many comments to the rulemaking process? Congressman Kiley, I'm aware of that. And so why do you think it is that they oppose this rule so much? 
So Congressman Kiley, again, I think that one of our responsibilities is to continue to do outreach and education to make sure that freelancers who are in business for themselves understand they are protected by this rule. Yes, and so my time has expired, so I just want to leave you with that question and give you one more chance. Based on your conversations with all these folks who say that this is going to threaten our livelihood, they've submitted comments, they've filed a lawsuit. Why do you think they are opposed to this rule that you just announced? What's your best understanding of that? So Congressman Kiley, I very much look forward to the opportunity to continue to talk with freelancers and other small business owners to make sure that they understand that this rule protects them in their ability to be in business for themselves.